Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we will go straight over to those those Bitcoin charts. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin um, just pretty much holding holding in this range as you can see. Um, the nice, um, relatively predictable um, weekend um, sideways range in price action. Um, so yeah, we had that we had that nice bounce off this level um, the well yesterday morning. Um, we've come back and tested it again, just slightly slightly lower this time. Um, but yeah, bounce back off it again, so holding that level quite nicely. Obviously, we don't want to we don't want to come down and test it again, um, as it would start to potentially look like it's going to break. But I mean, it's only it's only two hundred two hundred and fifty dollars away from uh, price where price is now, so it's not like um, that is not an easily easily attainable move um, with obviously the ranges we've got in Bitcoin at the moment. Um, but but obviously um, you got you guys pretty much know my bias is the fact that we've broken out, we've back tested, and now realistically the move would be to come up. The likely move would be to come and test the um, test the upper side. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at. A good risk reward trade um, would be to potentially have your stop below this level here and have you take profit. Um, basically, well anywhere anywhere around um 17 17,200 or higher um so yeah see how that see how that works out um but yeah all in all um not a lot not a lot going on obviously the weekend um uh, traditional markets are open and um, bitcoin dominance itself it's even that is just trading sideways and not really doing anything just sort of sat in this um um, very compressed sideways range so obviously we're, we're all hoping for a break um, a break to the downside and then a break of this level which then I think would precipitate a break of this level and then we can go into a sorts of um, um, are we going to bounce are we going to bounce sort of macro off this level and start to move back up again or are we going to consolidate in this zone and trade lower um so that is kind of what we're looking at in bitcoin dominance ethereum btc our main our main bellwether for um obviously bitcoin dominance is ethereum being the second largest um uh well second largest crypto the largest altcoin um so yeah you can see it does it is in a descending channel quite clearly um so this could potentially break to the upside um i mean we'll just draw we'll draw the uh, the upside resistance on we are also coming upon a four hour buy nine as well so um if we are going to break um this up this up this this trend line in this downwards channel and make our move up probably around to around to this level again then yeah i mean i think the 4 out 9 is as good a chance as any maybe we'll get an acceleration of fake out down below the bottom side of the channel into um into this actual support horizontal we've got and um, bounce off that and then move back to the upside maybe that maybe that is a play that is going to happen and um, this is why you obviously wait for the confirmations before you jump on trades you don't just think all right buy now at the bottom of the channel because then you could get squeezed down i mean to be honest that you may be able to tolerate that amount of a of a of a wide stop and then go for a move up to here or higher but but hey just though we're just looking at the chart um usd though um again usd not looking as not looking um bad at all um looking like it's a bull flagging it out up here nice set of higher lows um well nice set of for the most part higher highs um so yeah get back above um back get back above this horizontal um, then yeah, it will look like it will look good for it will look good for a uh, a move to um, to um, well 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 into the 500s basically, well into the 500s. So um, yeah, back to Bitcoin. We'll just have a quick through uh, look through the TD on some higher time frames. See if we've got anything anything interesting, um, anything anything of note. Um, yeah, not too much really. That two day nine hasn't done a lot. This twelve hour nine though, they did pretty much um this was a twelve hour nine, this candle here. Um and it then um basically got sold sold into. Um uh, actually this wasn't a twelve hour nine because four candles earlier would have been here and we were not trading above that to actually give us a sell nine, so um yeah it didn't actually reach the nine but sold off basically on the on just about the candle that would have been the nine candle. Um yeah, let's have a look. We'll have a look through. Um, yeah, five day, five day potentially coming up on nine. How have these played out um, previously? 
Um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all, guys. Um, here's a nice five-day uh, nine out of the low. Here's a nice five-day nine at the high. Here is a nice five-day nine at this high before this pullback. And that is a decent pullback. Um, nearly got to the nine there. And we did pull back, basically. Um, so five-day nines um, have been pretty good. Um, we have got... Um, 13 hours so this this so we will be on this um five day nine candle um as of next week uh as of basically tomorrow so next week as in monday but yeah as of tomorrow um so yeah potential i mean you guys kind of um know what i'm probably know what i'm gonna say watch out for acceleration into the nine uh maybe even up to the 17k and then some um well a one to four candle um sideways to down so yeah one two four five day candles sorry spat all over my mic <laughs> one to four um five day candles is a five to twenty day uh downside so that could definitely get us down to this 14k would look nice would look nice would look nice chart wise would look nice you can see it's kind of how the chart moves you're kind of expecting that move to happen um very very basic uh visual analysis there but yeah potential acceleration into the five day nine up to around up to 17k and then a pullback to around 14k looks very uh very plausible i'm not saying it's what's going to happen i'm not even saying it is most likely what's going to happen but i do think it has a good chance of happening but it is it would look very normal if it did happen um and then we will also be on a weekly um a weekly nine as well um obviously after this next week's candle um so yeah weekly nine and five day nines um um coming up in the space of like the next two candles um for each obviously the next candle being the five day nine the candle after that being the weekly nine I mean, it, it does play into what I'm saying, guys, about I think we're going to hold in this range for a bit. It does play into that, in all fairness. Um, so, um, yeah, bi-weekly. Bi-weekly, obviously, looking good, though. Um, bi-weekly looking good. But bi-weekly will still look good and still be on a green count, even if we trade, um, even if we trade in this range for a couple of candles. Um, so, no problems there for the bi-weekly. Um, and then, um, well, 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 the monthly... We'll come up on a monthly nine in, um, well, in 15 days. Um, however, um, monthly nines um, are not necessarily the most um, <laughs> the most um, efficacious uh, TD uh, nines to trade. Uh, but hey, TD nines are still important and there wasn't a lot of price. Well, this is BitMEX anyway, so obviously we could look at a different exchange with more price action, but um you never know this could end up being a big nine a big nine and it could end up being anywhere around oh, well just that's ridiculous even to put the arrow there it could end up being well over 20k um and that could then um give us a nice move back down all the way to around 10k which would be fuck it which would be insane um but actually not look bad in the context of this chart um so <laughs> something to think about something to think about there guys um but anyway that is a bit we're, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves there we're getting a bit um caught in front of the horse there um so we don't really need to obviously we've got five day and weekly nines that are clearly uh more uh more important to um what we think is gonna what our trading in the immediate term um not that they're not that five day charts and weekly charts are immediate term but they clearly are compared to monthly charts that monthly nines that actually don't even start for 15 days anyway um but yeah there we go guys so remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor um always do your own research and i will speak to you guys later on today